everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Meg. I do put out videos a couple times a week, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my content. But this is a wedding series video. If you guys haven't seen my other wedding videos, there is a playlist on my channel, so go catch up if you aren't already. And I just wanted to do a really quick intro. This is going to be for my food tasting, and I just wanted to explain the reason why I filmed it the way I filmed it. So basically there were six of us at the tasting along with the wedding coordinator and then the pastry chef. There was a lot going on, a lot of talking, a lot of people sharing their opinions. Um, there was a lot of important communication between uh, my fiance and I and then with my parents, with my guests, with the wedding coordinator. So I figured it would be kind of difficult to do it vlog style in there. So what I did was I took pictures of everything and then I just did a voiceover um, on top of it to explain to you guys um, what it is and why we chose it and da 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 da. So I just wanted to let you know that's the kind of video it's going to be. Hopefully you don't get too hungry watching it and let's go ahead and get into the footage. First off, we tasted what is going to be served during our cocktail hour. So we have a bruschetta topped with fresh basil, mozzarella, and plum tomatoes. And then we have honey barbecue meatballs that's also going to be served with a fresh fruit skewers with exotic fruit dip and the fruit dip was so good oh my gosh I could just eat that by the spoonful and just be happy forever we're also gonna have a brie wheel for people to snack on as well here is a shot of our little bread and butter presentation and it's just so cute next up is going to be a what they call taste of excellent salad which is assorted greens with julienne carrots cucumbers and tomatoes dressed with house age balsamic vinaigrette and the salad was pretty damn good for being a salad so going into the food tasting we already had an idea of what we wanted to get but they also gave us a variety in case we changed our mind or we didn't like what we originally picked out. So the first thing that we have is a lemon chicken, which is grilled airline chicken breast drizzled with a sweet lemon and garlic sauce. This was the fan favorite out of the group of people, but Joe and I personally just, we just really didn't care for it so much. It was just super sweet tasting, almost too sweet tasting for an entree. We also had four different sides that we were choosing from. So the lemon chicken came with the scallop potatoes, which was my personal favorite. They were so good. And then they also came with their assorted marinated and grilled vegetables. The next entree that they served us was an eight ounce grilled rosemary rub beef tenderloin served with an herb demi glaze. And this was served with the scallop potatoes again, along with being introduced to the garlic and rosemary roasted red skin potatoes. Um, again, this and the lemon chicken weren't what Joe and I originally had in mind for our entrees. And it was good, but we liked the second steak option better than this. Speaking of second steak option, this is what we went with, and this is a 12 ounce New York strip steak, char grilled and served over strips of portobello mushrooms with a roasted garlic demi glaze, and this is prepared medium. So we decided that it needed to be cooked just a little bit longer. It seemed more on the medium rare side, and this was served with the red skid potatoes and then with the fresh green beans and lemon butter. I am not a huge steak person myself, I'm more about chicken, but Joe really loved the steak and the guests that we had with us really enjoyed the steak as well. So that is what we decided to go with. We are doing something a little non-traditional with our dinner. We are offering guests a duo plate instead of just having them select beef or chicken, they're going to get a serving of each. Then just real quick an explanation for that. Um, I personally think that it's easier just to give guests, just to have a set menu and just kind of like this is what you're going to get. It takes away from the stress of people forgetting to mark what, you know, meat product they prefer when they RSVP or, you know, picking chicken and then saying, oh, I meant to select steak instead. This way you get a little bit of everything, everyone wins, and then... We don't have any vegetarian guests attending our wedding and reception, so that wasn't an option that we had to worry about. Now moving along to my personal favorite out of everything we had to eat that day, and it is the brie chicken. This was lightly sauteed and baked with a flavorful raspberry brie and walnut sauce. Oh my gosh. 
I am just so excited to eat this again. It was so delicious. And here it was served with the green beans and red skin potatoes. I guess you could say I had to pull a slight bridezilla moment here because all of our guests were trying to fight us on having the lemon chicken over the brie chicken, but Joe and I overruled them and decided to go ahead and pick the brie chicken. It was just too good to pass up. All right, so to recap for what we decided for entrees, I decided to go with the scalloped potatoes. Joe let me pick the potato and then I let him pick the vegetable because he didn't care about the potato selection and I didn't care about the vegetable selection. So I chose the scalloped potatoes. And again, my guests don't like my picks. They wanted the lemon chicken over the brie chicken and then they wanted the red skin potatoes over the scalloped potatoes. But I got my way and we selected the scalloped potatoes. And then Joe also had conflict with them on the vegetable choice. They all wanted us to go with the green beans, but he really wanted to go with the marinated and grilled vegetables. And of course, for the beef option on our dual plate, Joe went with the strip steak. For the dessert, it's just going to be our wedding cake. And for our wedding cake, we decided on a red velvet cake that is going to have cream cheese and buttercream icing. And I have such a great vision for how this is going to be decorated. We're going to do like some gold paint and do like a monogram on the cake, I think. But it was just so absolutely delicious. And here is a group shot of the guests that we had with us. It was my parents, my aunt, and my godmother that joined us for the food tasting. I hope you guys didn't get too hungry staring at these pictures and listening to the description of the food. I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to check out the other wedding videos that I have in my playlist for my wedding series. If you don't want to miss out on future wedding series videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then that way you will always be notified when I have a new video in that series out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.